Hi, I'm Bobby Lane. I'm here with the Panasonic GF1. Today, I'm going to show you how to do natural light portraits with window light and a reflector. I'm going to do a head and shoulder portrait of Aaron using the window light and also using a reflector. I'm going to show you a couple of variations on this so that you can change the mood by using your lighting in order to get the right kind of feeling that you want. Variations in this kind of a portrait. Okay, Aaron, the first thing I'm going to have you do is I want you to turn your body towards the light just a little bit more. So turn your shoulders towards the light. I don't want straight onto the camera because then it's just a square shape. You want to have a little bit more curve. So if you turn the shoulders, it's a little bit more attractive. And then I'm going to have you turn your face towards the light just a little bit. And would you take the top of your head and tilt just a tiny little bit like that. That's very nice. So now I have this beautiful window light that's coming and wrapping around him. So the first picture I'm going to do is going to be just pleasant. So I'll have a little smile, no big teeth, and I'm not going to use anything on the, on the reflector. I'm just going to let the shadows go dark. Okay, so the first picture, and I'm going to back up just a little bit here. I want to do a nice head and shoulders, and the eyes are going to be about one-third from the top of the frame. Tilt your head just a tiny little bit this way. Go this way. That's it, right there. All right, I'd like you to take a deep breath and relax and a little smile with no teeth. Here we go. That's lovely. Okay, let me take a look at that and make sure that everything is okay. That looks really good. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a white reflector to bounce some light from the window back into the shadows so the shadows aren't quite so dark. That will make the feeling of the picture a little brighter, a little lighter, and a little softer. So I'm going to bring in my assistant and bring in the white reflector. So what happens here, would you move the reflector in closer and then move it further back again? Take it back a little more. So you can see the difference as you just change the depth of the shadows by how close the reflector is. Bring it in just a little bit more and come forward with it just a little bit this way. There you go, that's perfect. Okay, Aaron, we're going to do the same thing again. I like that little bit of the head tilt. And again, just a little bit of a smile is very, very nice. Say hi. That was very good. I liked that very much. That was lovely. Okay. So you can see with the shadows being a little bit lighter, you've got a little bit of a softer feeling. All right, now, the next thing, you can drop the reflector. The next thing I'm going to do is change the feeling completely. So we've been using two windows. One's actually lighting the wall, and one is lighting Aaron. I'm going to close the window so that the background is going to get a little darker. So, sorry, Aaron, let me just reach right in here. What happens now is that the background has gotten darker, so there's not as much light. The feeling is going to be a little more dramatic, and I'm not going to use a reflector in this. I'm going to make sure that those shadows go a little darker, and in this will create a little bit more dramatic portrait. So for this, I don't want the smile. I'd actually like you to drop your chin just a tiny little bit, and I'd like you to turn your head a little bit more this way and turn your nose just a tiny little bit. So that's good. So this is going to be more dramatic overall, and the background will be darker. You can see that right away. Here we go. That's good. Excellent. Okay. This is really a wonderful lens to use for portraits, this 45. It gives you just the right perspective. So as you can see now with the darker background and the darker shadows, that the pictures become just a little bit more dramatic. Okay. One more thing I'd like to do. I'd like to show you with the gold reflector and how it will warm up the picture. So this time we're going to use the reflector with the gold side. So I'm going to pull this back up. We're still going to keep the darker background on this. So if you'd come back in, and I just want a little bit. That's perfect. What this does is it just warms up the skin tone and it creates, again, a little bit of a softer feeling. It's a little more accessible. Not quite as dramatic, but I still like that. Tilt your head just a tiny little bit. That's very nice. Okay, excellent. And let me show you this. Okay, there we go. Changes the feeling just a bit. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this little portrait tip, and I wish you good luck. Happy shooting.